We're just a couple of nerds getting sidetracked with side quests. I'm Adam. I'm Kaya, and every day is a new side quest. Hello, Wanderers, and welcome back to the Forgotten City. I promised that at the end of the last episode, I was going to confront the assassin. So let's do it. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if it's really going to be any different than the last time. But if I reset, I reset. I know what, you know, we'll see what options I have if I need to do something different. But Help! You have hey, to do Fabia, something! It's been a while. A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sword. Got a weapon. With his face I, maybe if I kill him, I'll take his weapon. And he's got a weapon. I can't you kill him. You have to him. do something or he's going to break the golden rule. Um, I don't have a weapon. None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. Bow. Is this how we get a bow? Improvise. Thank you. This He's man's still in there bow. Somewhere. This I have to hide. man. Find me in this empty shrine bow. when it's over. Uh, do not go in what? there. Why? I have a bad feeling about it. All right, um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. You be careful. The thing fucking collapsed last time. All right. Well, at least I know I can keep her alive. Um. um help me with the assassin. Greek statue of a woman. Greek statue probably of a goddess to whom his temple is dedicated. Perhaps a local Greek resident knows more about her. Interesting, interesting. Oil lamp? It looks like someone has been through here recently. Hold up, assassin. I got stuff to do. a change uh, I promised I would confront the assassin I, ah, clearly that's some sort of area a separate area considering it loads every time so you know what I made a promise I will confront the assassin I know this is here I can come back later even if I don't um, I'm crouching even if I don't beat the assassin so I don't know how I would be creating how would I be creating can I hide in the dark Is there any creative? I just have to talk to him. It doesn't let me do anything. Stop otherwise. right there! I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius. I also don't know who the Christmas, fuck this is. Otherwise known as Quinctius. I haven't do you heard of anyone he called Quinctius. Uh, it doesn't matter what I say. You're going to try to kill me anyway. Yes, as I am worshipping a small round shrine just inside the city, second building on your left. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Alright. Is this being creative? If I let him crumble into a building? Don't mind me. I just 
follow you. Goodbye, assassin. Filthy lying degenerate. Take it. It's not stealing if he's dead. By order of Emperor Nero, all loyal sons of Rome are ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderer Tiberius Quinctus Crispus, a citizen from the Aventine district of Rome. He is about 40 to 50 years old. He is average height, average build, has dark hair, and has one green eye and one blue eye. That's Smaliolus, you dick. He's typically clean shaven. He's a known associate of cultists and suffers from delusions of grandeur. Ha. Really? You had a single denarius on you? Alright, so that... I'm glad I did that because that seemed to get a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, I can. Okay, so create a time paradox. We have a golden rule, common thread. Find a way into the palace. Fair to for rheumatism. On the bridge. Sinner. Opius, Centilla. Livia, Flower Equitia. Ask him about. I have dirt on him. Ask Galerius about Magistrate. So now I can possibly go into the cistern. I'm going to save here. And I'm temp well, let's go. I want to talk to Equitia first because she was the one that mentioned that she wanted to go talk to me over here. So let's go talk to her and then tell I'll tell her about the assassin and then Isn't maybe the great temple majestic. Maybe I take it you've cleared the way to the baths. Yes, follow me. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Alright. That is kind of weird. Is this far enough? Maybe I'll make it a 20. Ah, uh, what's up, Georges? I better not have any big altering things, because I just want information. I don't know if it actually mattered that I was far away from her. You know? I haven't been in here yet because of that damn assassin. Though I was in the ruined air place of this when I first found this area, I believe. All right, Equitia, what do you got? Tell me. All right, you're here. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Yeah. Here, look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. What? Oh, what a marvelous lamp. But do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. It's just Shit. as you described it, only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. No. It was C-H-A-R-O-N, oh. as in Charon. I was the right, ferryman the ferryman. Charon, who in exchange for the right coin, helped cross the, the river Styx. I was right, you're all dead. The land of the Does that mean I'm dead? From the land of the Did dead. I give her a coin? When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all loose I found change. was loose stole my money. I'm Feels dead. Like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Sorry oh if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. Because you're a ferryman, and people, when my you introduce yourself, people know they're dead. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. 
it means we're all dead. I take it you know what this means. This place is the underworld? I'm afraid so. It's all starting to make sense. So is Hades the god then that's fucked up with this place? From the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking, Perhaps but shit. grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the golden rule is the work of Pluto. Oh, sorry, Pluto, I forgot this is Roman. And why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in. And you look as if you have questions. Uh, so I have a lot of questions. I'll try to answer them if I can. Um, so we're dead. That was my first thought too. In the old stories, but why are we in some kind of like of purgatory? Were taken. But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying, if they were particularly fearless. So I might be alive. So I'm afraid I don't know. Uh, what can you tell me about Karen? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman, I mean, I'm an archaeologist. Greek, I just want to see what you know. Stories. I don't know. Each of them is slightly different. Whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involve the souls of the dead meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of Charon. a river. It was said that he'd helped the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin. So because that's we what inherited Livia, this, this is what Livia the found out then, and she knows. Why didn't you all recognize Caron immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And I mean, he, fair. she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kerti. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they, they were wearing always a wearing a hood and it of some with sort. A K. And their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Why are there so few people in the underworld? Good question. Let's see. Is there in one the stories, to Caron would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river. But that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? I mean, that's fair. In our case, it seems Caron didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. And that might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. Are you trying to keep this from me? Have you known this? And you were just waiting for me to figure it out? No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings. But I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. Yeah, I mean, those are all the questions I had. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it. If we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity, we don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the all underworld. Alright, alright, what you got? Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra, and Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the Prospering. goddess of the underworld, Prospering. Proserpina, to Proserpina. help Proserpina. them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options to confront the god of the underworld head on or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. Uh, tell me more about Frank. Can we just escape the way we came in? It's a reasonable question. But the problem is, this place is fairly well designed to keep us here. There's no way to climb. So was up that the assassin shaft. dead and then? Even if you could build a ladder big enough, 
Just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writings left behind by those who've tried. You seem uncomfortable calling the god of the underworld by his name. Why is that? All Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. That's you may fair. refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you will only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Tell me more about escaping with the help of a guide. As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic I mean, that's fair, but we're in the underworld, so I don't think anything should be taken lightly. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds horrible. But she might not like him, so she might be willing to work against him to help us? If the stories are true, then I suppose Why would so. she be willing the to help him? The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? That's Leaving fair. that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I mean, all the statues are talking to me. One of those in your travels. Yeah. Oh, it's, is it specifically female statues? I didn't realize that. Truly, and you're only bringing. I thought I brought it up now? to you before. Then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Probably. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it yeah, say? Yeah, it's the same voice. It's always. Yeah, I guess it is technically helpful now that I know what the jumping is and stuff, but it is definitely cryptic. Fascinating. Perhaps she's a benevolent spirit. Or perhaps... Hmm. Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Proserpina herself. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to That's avoid fair. detection. That's fair. Tell me. Has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? Not yet. Oh, I see. Well, let me know if you hear anything that might be a thread through this labyrinth. I will. Um, I guess just since it's there, tell me more about confronting Pluto head on. Shh. Is everyone so blunt where you're from? I oh. mean, yes. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the golden rule and maybe even Shit. put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of wow. the underworld, but he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, Feel but you are no bad. Hercules. <laughs> I say, Hercules can manipulate time, just want to say. Are you telling me that you can? I won't pretend to understand I mean, exactly I kind of what can. that means. Not intentionally, but... if that's but... true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So... If you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Please do. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same <laughs> sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you-know-who. And for that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I I mean, the great temple, it. there was and obelisks that had things keyhole. missing. I suspect the answer lies yeah. in the desecrated obelisk in front that means of it. I need to find the plaques. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our divine keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I haven't even found plaques, one. Like, where I would they be? I imagine you might be willing to receive an audience again. What can you tell me about the obelisk? It's the towering stone. I know what it is. I thought you'd give me more sides and a pyramid shape. Come on, Aquitia. We're in this together. Because we're temple. both dead, I guess. To the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome. But of course, they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here, too. Although, how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the different four sides style. is decorated in a different style Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and another I don't recognize. That means you'll need to recover four different What's the plaques. mystery plaque? Roman, I'm intrigued. Greek, Egyptian, 
and a fourth, a mystery plaque. Um, yeah, I guess let's just go down the line. Where's the Roman one? Good question. To answer that, we first need to ask who would have defaced the obelisk in the first place. Uh... It would have had the god's name engraved into it. So it may be that whoever desecrated it, the dude who was here first, name or no, to be forgotten. Maliolus. And there's only one group of people I know of who might want to do that. There's a cult in Rome that often oh. argued there is only one true god. Those There's cultists. God. They've been known to start fires, as well as deface religious monuments whose existence challenged their beliefs. If I were you, I'd go looking for them. Of course, they've all been in hiding since I the mean, fire I know last year. Two so of them. Them I don't. Do, I think the easy. bounty said Maliolus was a cultist. So. They have a secret shrine somewhere in the city. I mean, Perhaps I already found it, but I need a key. That, you might be able to recover the Roman plaque. What about the Greek one? I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search Georgius. with a local Greek fellow, Georgius. His store is in the forum. Is it Dooley? Does that mean Dooley's treasure is going to be the Greek plaque? God damn it. What about the Egyptian one? Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Unfortunately, That's not helpful, he disappeared Equ Equitia. weeks ago. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So... Perhaps you could talk to her, or just take a look in his room. What about this mystery one? I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. <sighs> but perhaps the goddess will help guide you to it when the time is right. When the time is right. Let's talk about something else. Uh, well, I guess that's everything. Guess I'm ready to get started. Right. I would suggest not discussing this with anyone. No, you don't. You're saying I shouldn't tell everyone that you're all dead and living in the underworld in a as for endless Lydia, torment. It seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. I'll talk to Olivia. Perhaps it would comfort her to know she's not alone. Um, I'll have a chat with in Olivia first. Case, time is of the essence, so you'd best begin. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Proserpina on your side. I'll do my best, Equitia. Uh, well, I apologize, statues, for not always listening to you, because fuck, apparently we're all dead. I don't know. That, she said the living could reach there, so there's a chance I'm not dead. But... Definitely everyone else is dead. Um, it definitely makes some of the some of the quests I have seem a little frivolous in comparison, but I guess the idea is that um, these things are gonna help me to find the plaques and stuff. So, so I guess I still, I don't know if I have to do everything. That's the one thing. It is interesting though that, um, I don't know about this one. Listen to the whispers, click the, but it seems like it said, um, Like, I could possibly escape. Alright. Is that it? Um, but I could possibly escape. But it seems like that won't save everyone. Like, it seems like the only way to possibly end this would be to confront Pluto. Turn your man into gold. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how many endings this game had. If it only has one, and so I, you know, I need to do everything to get the ending, or or what? Um, uh, do we? 
No, I want to talk to Fabia in her bakery because I found her in her bakery. Fabia, I took care of the assassin. You, you took care of him. Yep, he had a tragic accident in that shrine. An accident? So, it's over. Oh God! I didn't it's think it would be that easy. I'm glad. I really thought we were all going to die. I'm glad it was easy. I, I do have a question though. That shrine, the one I, mean, I was I'm pretty sure there was a note. No, it was going so to So you should have just read the note. I said yes, I'd be admitting to murder. Yes, no. So if I say yes, is that gonna... Did you know it was going to collapse? Would that be admitting to murder? Got me in a conundrum. Cause I was just gonna say yes, cause I wasn't gonna think much of it, but now I, I don't know if I should lie. Let's, let's say yes. So you kind of murdered him then? No. The many shall suffer for the sins of the Come one. Come on, Fabia. We were having a nice conversation here. Why? Turning us to gold. I'm sorry, Virgil. Okay. I did not. Okay, so clearly... At least in certain contexts, that means I need to lie. Go on, Santius, bro. So I need to lie. So lying is good. Everyone write that down. Lying is good. Because apparently... Unless I just said the other one, essentially, you know, that kind of implying, like, well, I mean, I can't say yes because that'd be murder. You know? Her serpent, a Roman goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. Conducted by Pluto, yeah. What's up, Glarius? Salve, friend. I need you Sounds to take serious. care of some things urgently. I'm listening. Uh, Elia's dying. Lucretia can help her with stuff. Susan takes over and go quickly. Stop here and remember to shine until the new arrival. Find what he's looking for. Elia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. Can I do the other thing? Too? Yeah. I need you to stop Fabia and remember to shine until the new arrival. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Yep. Understood. Got it. Now go. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Just go. Run like the wind, Galerius. Look at him go. He's so majestic. So much faster than me. And he's gone. Uh, where are you? Olivia? You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue just as the ocean Olivia. accepts I the know, rivers of all the world. I know where we are. So this place accepts all the souls. I know we're dead. But it does not notice the crowds that come. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. Then it is true. I was right. You were? I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself nope. it was Olivia, true you're the over most and sane over again, person here. until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I, I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot yes. help but wonder if yes, he I'm himself sure he came here. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. 
Sure, tell me. I will do my best to remember the I always love first. some poetry. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those at last given proper Sounds burial. Pleasant. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, and still others incur punishment i hope i have done it justice and Indeed, now we share a secret did, yeah. it's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders you're, you're saying, oh, thank you friend trust me i think you're okay, aside from i being should dead. rest go sleep go sleep or do something It's a heavy burden to know that to those that know that we're all just fucking dead. I still I wanna I wanna go up to Oh, I think I walked over the fire. I know now who he is. You're saying Pluto watches through their eyes and listens through their ears. Uh, this is not where I wanted to go. I want to go up to the temple. Is there anything new? Or did I still need some other way in? I myself in, don't try to find that and it will come a bit. But is there a way in? I'm not sure still. I like that the money keeps refreshing though, because I will take all the money and arrows you guys will give me. For whatever purpose that will lead to. What are these? I wonder, it looks like I can. Well, I mean, again, if it will support my weight and all that shit. Next, I need to go into the um, the underground. It wasn't the cisterns, I think. It was something else. But, uh, but, 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 we will do that next episode. Behold, everyone, this is the underworld, and we're all fucked. Because we're dead. Except for me. There's a chance I might be alive. But everyone else, dead. Which, you know, is kind of what I thought based on all of their descriptions and how they got here and whatnot. You know, it's kind of like, I feel like you're dead and this is purgatory. But, you know, I wasn't far off. I just didn't actually think that was the case. But here we are. So... I guess we got a lot of work to do next episode. I think I'm going to try and figure out the stuff with Scintilla first. You know, and then go from there. I don't I don't know how if I need to do everything. I I want to, but like I don't know if I need to. So 
we'll just have to see how things progress and every such thing but that's for a future episode this is enough for now uh so yeah i hope you enjoyed this go check out our other stuff and you know like subscribe if you're so inclined that would be very much appreciated um but yeah i'm getting out of here we'll see you in the next one goodbye